Hello, my lovelies. Here we are continuing on our fool's journey, coming face to face with the bringer of fourth of life, Zodiac Trump of Sagittarius, Jupiter rules, Dragon's Tail exalted, Tree of Life path number 25. This is the number 14th major arcana card, Temperance. Transmute all holy into the image of will, bringing each to its token of perfection. Let's dive deep into the meaning of this card. Sagittarius means the archer. The traditional image of Sagittarius is that of Diana the Huntress. The Sagittarian imagery is almost completely smothered in alchemy symbolism. This card represents the consumption of the royal marriage which took place and art in the coagula of the lovers. In this card, the white tincture of the empress is united with the red tincture of the emperor. We've already learned that the magus, the magician, the empress and the emperor represent the chemical elements of mercury, salt, and sulfur. These three principles, when combined and perfectly balanced to create a universal solvent, vitriol. What we haven't yet learned is what to do with our vitriol. What are we supposed to dissolve it in? With the simplest answer to this would be to say that vitriol dissolves old life in order to create new life. Temperance is the I am balancing. This major arcana is similar to the balance found in the justice card, but it's more of a day-to-day -day kind of thing. The angel is pouring water back and forth between two identical cups. If you look at the basic card, the angel has one foot on the shore and one on the water. Being poured from one cup to the other is perfectly representation of balance. Water in the cards always means emotion. It is calm and focused. On one side is land, on the other water, representing oasis, peace, calm, zen. On the forehead, a circle, in its chest, a triangle. In many basic decks, there is also a square around the triangle. The square, triangle, and circle have to do with body, mind, and spirit, representing if you fall behind in the upkeep of any of these, the others will suffer as well. This card also represents alchemy. A little of this and a little of that is okay. You can blend almost anything and nothing really has to be in extremes opposites can be blended you just have to have patience and the right equipment man and woman fire and water hell even oil and water can be mixed you just have to know the secret there is a balance in everything that must be kept in life we just have to stop and look around to find temperance rest between death and the devil in the tarot card. Change, peace, chaos, grace, wisdom, integration movement without loss of self, calm, and moderation. One of the five cardinal virtues in ancient Greece and one of the four cardinal virtues of the Catholic Church, representing balance in life, and that you have achieved moderation. You avoid extremes, the path to success is right there. To see it and take it, clearly you can achieve it. By bringing in this balance, it's a good and positive card. The flow of life and harmony, positive energies of the universe are in your favor. You just need to use your purity of intentions to bring balance and harmony to your surroundings. This is a day where you should abstain from overindulging of anything. Success will be found through this control. Key words for the temperance card is balance, patience, moderation, peace, calm. If death is the card of transformation, temperance is the materialization of this period. It encourages you to make the most of the situation calmly, harmoniously, to keep sustainable. From now on, your life must be maintained in balance. Much like as within, so without, your inner self is a reflection of your outwardly world. If living in access, chaos, and confusion, 
Your outer world will be chaotic, confusing, difficult, very unorganized. But if maintaining the balance, the non-overindulgence, your outer world will be in harmony, in balance, in sync, such as the belief in oneself, what you're capable of doing, making, or becoming starts within you so that you can see the materialization of it in the outside world, becoming a true manifestation of that. I hope that I gave you a better understanding, better understanding of the symbolism of the temperance and what it can also represent on your everyday life on or on the grander scale of things. Like in all our Tarot 101, what does this card represent to you? And what does it remind you of? And as always, I hope that this gives you a better perception and understanding of the Temperance Major Arcana. See you in the next lesson. Until then, bye-bye.